Want to make your own Discord Xenon bot without coding? Well, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Don't worry. It's easier than trying to explain memes to your grandma. Step one, join my Discord server. First things first, hop onto my Discord server, link in the description. Once you're in, verify yourself and grab the subscriber role. No role, no code. Rules are rules. Step two, get the source code head over to the source code channel where you'll find the GitHub link. Click it and voila, you're transported to my GitHub repository, like digital magic, but cooler. From there, click the big green code button and choose download zip. Once it's downloaded, unzip it and open the files in your favorite code editor. Don't have one? Time to get one. Google is your friend, or if you're fancy, you can use a hosting service. Step three, setting up the environment file. In your code editor, locate a file called .env example. Right click it, rename it to .env and pat yourself on the back. That's step one of sounding like a pro developer. Step four, create a bot on Discord. Now, head over to the Discord developer portal and create a new bot. Give it a name, get creative. Or if you already have one, great. Less work for you. Once your bot is created, go to the bot section, scroll down and enable privileged gateway intents. Sounds fancy, right? Just click it. Then scroll up and reset your bot token. Copy that shiny new token and paste it into your .env file next to token equals. Step five, add the client ID. Still in the developer portal, find the OAuth2 section. Copy your bot's client ID and paste it into the .env file under client ID equals. Easy peasy. Step six, install dependencies. Open your terminal in the project folder and type npm install. Let it work its magic. While it's installing, take a sip of water, stay hydrated, Coder. Step seven, deploy and run the bot. Once npm install finishes, go to the package.json file. Look for the deploy command, copy it, and paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. Now copy the run bot command, paste it in, and hit enter again. If you see a happy message in the terminal saying the bot is online, congratulations. You're officially a bot wizard. Step eight, invite your bot to Discord. Go to the OAuth2 section, select application commands and bot commands, and set permissions to admin. Test it out. In your server, type slash backup. The bot will generate a backup key for you. Copy it. Now create a new server, invite your bot there, and type slash load backup followed by the key you just copied. Watch as the bot works its magic. Cloning your server like a pro, check the status channel to see if everything went smoothly. And that's a wrap. See? Told you it wasn't rocket science. Your bot is now fully operational, and you've officially joined the elite ranks of bot creators. Check out the audit logs to see all the magic your bot has been up to. Before you go, if you want to build an all-in-one bot, check out my previous video, link on the screen. Thanks for watching till the end. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I mean, I did just save you from hours of Googling, right? See you next time.